What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to episode 3 of my uh, Ultimate Team series, I believe we're calling it Road to Gold. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be moving on from sil uh, from bronze sorry, into silvers. As you can see here, we completed the whole silver team. Um, I believe I bought all the players last episode, but Kyle Edwards here was injured. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing a game with a full... Premier League team, full bronze Premier League team, and then after that we're going to start moving up into the silvers. Uh, as you can see here, I've got 3,500 coins, um, and we've also put a bid on a couple of silver players here, which I'll show you now. So yeah, these are the three players, we've, we've got them coming into the team, uh, i leave them there for now. But, some really good news, and I don't know how this has happened, I don't know why this has happened, but uh, if you look at uh, this guy's name here, who I had a lot of difficulty pronouncing in the last episode, Tosin Adara Bioyo, that's, that's as much you're going to get from me, that's all I'm trying. But we bought him for 350 coins. Now, if I go here, and go list on transfer market, compare price, look how much he's going for. There's a bid on him for 7,800 there. I don't know why or how, like I said, he's going for so much, but we can probably shift him on for about 9,500 coins, and that'll give us a lovely little boost into the silver uh, into the silver player options there, so I'll probably list him up for around 9,500, but before that, we're going to go into a game. Okay, so we found a game uh, against Yellow Devil FC. I did have a quick look at the other players, by the way, guys, to see if any of the other ones went up in price, and they didn't. They all dropped, if anything, so... Okay, so this guy's got a pretty poor team. Uh, he's got a lot of Italian players in it. It looks like it's just uh, his starter pack. It doesn't look like he's added. At this moment, he knew he fucked up. Any other players? I was just talking to Game Chat there. That guy's just going to hear everything I said, calling his team a bad team. But yeah, regardless of that, let's, let's go into this one. Okay, so this guy heard me talk shit about him in the, in the pre-game part. And he's just started talking in game, so I don't know whether he was he was talking shit back, but uh, he's definitely gonna have a bit of a grudge. Parfit Williams with the ball here, or oh, nice little freaking side. We'll get through that guy. Still Parfit Williams. You miss. Oh, I thought that went over then, but uh, I think that's George Baez. We'll do the gomis. <laughs> what a celebration! Got a decent attack on you, Kyle Edwards into Jonathan Leko. So we are pull it back. Go into that corner. That's 2 0. The West Brom boys linking up. That I think that should be pretty much game over. I would comment on whether or not he's a good player, but he literally hasn't touched the ball, so I don't know. Oh what a goal from Edwards. I wasn't even commentating then because I didn't really think we had much of a chance. But it came back to it. This is actually his debut as well, so he's got two goals on his debut. Looking for the hat trick. He's a really, really good player. But I really can't wait until we swap out from the bronzes into the silvers and then the golds because you can really tell, well, as I say that, as you, I was going to say, you can really tell that they're not quite the quality of the gold as Edwards just puts a bang into the top corner. But this must be rage quit. 34 minutes in. Okay, well, it didn't look like he's quit. He's actually just bringing on substitutions. Okay, we've got another chance here. Oh, Edwards has just done him. Oh, that's a pen. <laughs> I'll give it to Edwards because it is his hat trick. Now I'm going to try something a little bit naughty. Oh, it's worked. <laughs> We're going to hit that. Damn. Damn. Oh, he's actually quit. He uh, changed to half time. I'm 4 0 up and he quit. So yeah, I'll take that hat trick for Kyle Edwards. Shout out to Ken Boom. Okay, that's, that also means that we win the title. So we've got 2,500 coming in here. We've got about 9k coming in for that uh, Man City centre half. Okay, so the cheapest listed up is 9,300. I'm actually going to list mine up for 9,200. Okay, like I said, not sure what the big obsession is with this guy, but 9,200, he's listed up. There you go. Okay, just made our first, uh, well, actually, that's a lie, our fourth silver sign in. Uh, picked up Spironi, bought him for 250 coins. Uh, he was a goal last season, I think, so why not? That's a good price for a decent keeper. We also just picked up Tias Brown in here from Everton for 250 coins. Uh, again, decent player, good pace. The only thing that lacks in him is dribbling, but we, we'll just make sure that he won't be going forward too much. No idea whether this is a good deal or not. Uh, Steve Bruce's son, Alex Bruce, 
Uh, he, he literally was just put up like 59 minutes and 59 seconds, but 250 coins for him. Uh, I probably overpaid, but regardless, we've signed him. <laughs> we've just got a really, really good deal. It turns out I didn't overpay for that, Alex Bruce. I'm going up like the hundreds of centre half, and I haven't even found one for uh, anything under 500. But this one just popped up, Twan Zabi. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right from Man United. 400 coins, that looks like a bargain. Okay, so our left back, we're actually going to pick up Zeki Friars from Crystal Palace. There was a Stephen Kingsley there, but uh, I thought I'd leave him. Like, I should have signed him thinking about it now. But regardless, we've signed uh, Ezekiel Friars from Palace, and that is our defence done. We just signed Arsenal youngster Gedeon Zelalem. Uh, I was about to say from Arsenal, but never mind, we signed him. Okay, for our first game of Division 9, this is the team we're going to go into. Uh, we've got some players on the bench. I would start Akpom, but he's low on fitness. I thought instead of spending uh, money and coins on uh, on fitness and stuff, I may as well just rest players. So uh, yeah, that's why you can see here. I'll actually put him on the bench. Um, but yeah, this is the team we're going to go into the next game with. Okay, so this guy has a, a much stronger team than the last couple of people we played. Got a lot of Premier League players in there. Arthur Boric, uh, Lewis, not sure who that. Everton said that half is Ward Prowse, Kone, Redmond, and Victor Moses. Not too sure on all the other players, but uh, yeah, like I said, he's got a much stronger team than everyone else we've come up against, so it should be a, a much tougher game. Oh, here's Kite Lee, good chance. Parfit Williams, oh, that's a good touch. Is it a pen? No, it looks like a free kick. Okay, so George Boyd is our best free kick taker with 68 free kicks. This is not looking too promising. Oh, that's actually really good. That's a lot closer than I thought he was going to get. Oh, no, he's got a good chance here. Oh, it's just white. I thought he was just going in. Edwards into Brown in that high up the pitch. Oh, here's Boyd. Pull it back. Into Edwards. We get there eventually. To be fair, I've been all over this guy. Shout out to Ken Bone. Uh, but uh, we just haven't had the end product. But there we go, 1-0 up, Kyle Edwards again, ripping it apart. Oh, good play from Kyle Edwards. Oh, Parfit Williams has missed. George Boyd is there though. 2-0. Oh, here's a chance. Feed the Boyd. Feed the Boyd. <laughs> Am I watching George Boyd or Robin Van Persie? Yeah, right? That's how the game is going to end. 4-0 I believe we won it. Um, two goals for George Boyd. You just can't stop him from scoring. Okay, so as you can see here, Adara Bioyo, that guy, yeah, whatever. The pronunciation was spot on. Okay guys, so as you can see here, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he sold 9,200 coins on our coin uh, bonus expiry thing. Uh, expired in the last game, so we're actually going to go claim one more of them. I think the 200 extra coin ones are the only ones we have. Right, so there's the team completed, the non-rare silver team. Please uh, recommend me some rare silver players from the Premier League for the next episode that I'll go out and buy. Uh, and yeah, anyone that's non-rare, I've got 13k left, but I don't mind if it's more of a slow process. If you find a player that's worth uh, around that price, then put it in the comments below, I'll buy one star player if, if that's what you guys think I should do. But uh, yeah, that's at the end of episode 3 guys, thank you for watching and peace.